towards your path to become a leader? I was born as a pharmacist because uh, I liked a lot of contact with people. But I didn't start as a pharmacist. I started as a professional salesman in a pharmaceutical company. After one year of this activity, I found no challenges anymore. I was offered the position in the marketing field in another big multinational company. And I worked for three years in that company. But then the same was the same situation. So when you realize that you stay in a place and you don't get any challenge anymore, uh, I think it's uh, the time, the right time, you know, to, do, to make a new experience. So I decided to do something very unconventional, so to leave this company and go back to the pharmacies. After that experience that lasted five years, I decided to go back in the company again, in the human resource, in another company. And I had the experience, the possibility to, to understand better the human resource business. And after three years of that company, I founded with other colleagues at Infinity. And now it's uh, almost 20 years that we are running this business. And there is no day similar to that. And there are lots of emotions every day, some good, some difficult to manage, but I would say that's life. Which is your driving need that motivates you in your job? A couple of things. First of all, the change. I have to do some activity related to the training, or to the sales or designing. I like also people. I develop a lot of my skills listening to people and experience of people. So, what does the leader have to do? I think to give a meaning to people, help people to understand why it's important to do that or not to do that. And generally speaking, you don't give meaning through information, through data, through slides or things like that, but talking to people and helping people understand the deep reason for why it's interesting to do something. The second thing very important is the ability that the leader has to connect to people. So people connection, to create a relationship. If you don't have relationship, it's very difficult to lead people or to have people follow you. Another important characteristic is the ability that the leader has to understand your weakness, your strength, and uh, developing both, helping you to create a a grow path in which you can develop your, your career. And the last thing is the ability that the leader has to bring yourself out of your comfort zone, helping you to learn. How did you choose your team? The attitude for us is very important. I would say more than competences, because we, we work on competences. The most important thing for us is to, to understand if the mindset of the person that we want to hire is the right mindset for the continuous challenges that we have. So we select people understanding the right mindset that they have uh, according to their will to develop themselves, to accept and work on feedback and to go out of their comfort zone, so really to learn. How can leadership influence human relationships and teamwork? Uh, if you think about the, the word leader, Leader means that you lead something that is for you. So the relationship is very important. You can be a leader alone. You can be a leader without any people listening to you. Could you tell us something more about the challenges that you face in your own company? The challenge that I frequently face in my company is the selling activity. Generally speaking, people don't like selling. They say, I'm not a seller. If you are not connected with your passion, if you want to sell something that you are not connected with the passion for these things, obviously this is a very hard work. You don't feel that you are a salesman because you have to sell something which you don't believe, you don't have any kind of passion. So my big challenge in this company is to help people to get in love about the things that they sell. During his life, Guido took hard decisions in order to follow his natural passions. People and change are the things that motivate him. He behaves as an humble leader, being careful to people's natural abilities and their needs. He faces challenges daily, putting into practice what he is, trying to make people passionate for their work. He has the typical behaviors of the servant leader. 